I shouldn't be surprised no more, but we are. Luke Little on debut has just won the European Tour. So he's already won a, a Pro Tour, a Players' Championship event, and now a European Tour on debut season. He's going to be in the big events. He's going to be rocking up that rankings, and the top 16, as a minimum, looks all but certain now in the very near future for Luke Littler. I'll get into why if you're not familiar with darts. Not only did Luke Littler win this, he also hit a 9 darter in the final against Rob Cross, averaging over 100, which now sees him move up a couple of places in the world rankings. You'll see here Luke Littler up to world number 28 on the order of merit, £267,000. Now, I say the top 16 is a minimum. You'll see you're occupied by Stephen Bunting, 381. I mean, that's only that's less than 120,000, but there are some little add-ons that I will just go into in a second with you. I think, realistically, top four is a genuine possibility, which is a guaranteed Premier League spot, £639,000. Now, when we take a look at sort of this year for Luke Little, we talk about them guaranteed, the world match play, £10,000 guaranteed for that event. Luke Littler now fifth in the Pro Tour order of merit. If you're unfamiliar with the rankings and how darts works, you've got the top 16 in the world on the order of merit down the this side. And then we have the top 16 of the Pro Tour once these guys get taken out. Luke Littler sat on £50,000 will not be caught in time. He's going to qualify for that event. He will also be in the World Grand Prix. £50,000 already on his order of merit. Again, he won't be caught on that. That's the double start, double finish tournament. So again, more guaranteed prize money coming in for Luke Littler. We know he's going to be in the World Championship and playing in that event as a seed, due to the fact he's in the top 32, so a guaranteed £15,000. He's going to be in the Players' Championship Finals and he's going to be in the Slam So and the European Championships. So he's going to be getting around about £50,000 of guaranteed earnings, which will seem already... That £267,000, it could read £317,000 for Luke Littler because that's what he's going to be guaranteed just for turning up to these events if he doesn't win a single match. That will only put him £60,000 away from the top 16 at that point. So it's very, very likely that Luke Littler is going to get himself into the top 16, possibly, if not by the end of the year, certainly by the... Well, the middle part of the year, if not by the end of the year. And I don't think the top 16 is where he stops. When we look at the players he's beating on a regular basis and what he's doing on these events, despite the fact he's got an extremely busy schedule as well, I think he's going to thrive on stages like the World Match Play. I don't think it's unrealistic to think we could see Luke Littler top eight by the end of the year. That will also mean he'll then qualify for the Masters. The Masters is the world's top 24. So, long story short, Luke Littler is going to be pretty much in every single TV tournament going for the next couple of years, pretty much guaranteed now, off the back of adding this title onto his great start to the year. I'm sure he's going to win many more. Wouldn't be surprised to see him lift a TV title this year as well. I think that is just something that's sort of on the horizon. It's almost which one rather than will he do it. But as for now, Luke Littler is on his way to the top 16. And pretty much it can't be stopped from this point. Well done, Luke. Great darts this weekend. I'll catch you soon for some more Edgar TV.